Hey everyone, um, missing you today and super sad that you can't do lab with us, but I want you guys to still be able to have the experience. So I'm actually going to record myself doing the lab and show you how it's done. So today we're going to be looking at a piece of bubble gum. So what I did was the bubble gum is still in its wrapper and I'm going to bring it over here and put it on the balance. And it is 7.0 grams. Then what I'm going to do is record that in line one of my lab. So 7.0 grams. And that is the mass of the gum and the wrapper before chewing. So don't throw away your wrapper. If you do this at home with us, you can um, make sure that you don't throw away the wrapper because that's included in our mass right now. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to chew a piece of gum for 10 minutes. And I have just a little bit longer going on that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to record the mass of my gum after chewing it for 10 minutes. And basically, we are looking for how much sugar we are consuming. So this is, you know, the really bad kind of bubble gum that has all the sugar in it. So definitely some sugar bugs in your teeth after this one. So what's going to happen? After that, once I have my final mass here, which I'll have in just a minute, um, you're going to calculate the difference between the masses, so the amount, which is the amount of sugar that has been dissolved into your mouth and consumed by your body. So, because um, the gum material doesn't really, you know, go away. So, once you figure out the difference of the mass, that's going to be in grams also. And then sugar... The type of sugar that's in gum is C12H22O11. So we know that this difference here is going to be of C12H22O11 because that's the type of sugar that's in there. So when I get to this point, I need to do molar mass like we did yesterday. So remember that for molar mass, we count up the atoms and the mass for each and every atom that is in there. And I have 12 carbon atoms. I've got 22 hydrogen atoms and I've got 11 oxygen atoms. So we're gonna pause for just one second. I need to bring my wrapper back over here, put it on the balance. And here's the piece of gum I've been chewing for 10 minutes. Yummy. So my new mass is 2.1 grams. Wow, that's a lot of sugar that I just consumed. So I'm gonna bring that over here and I'm going to enter 2.1 grams, okay? You can do whatever you want with your gum when you're done. I am going to throw mine away. And I'm going to come back over here. So now that I have my initial mass and my final mass, I'm going to calculate the difference between them with my handy dandy calculator that I'm super obsessed with. Okay, so super hard math 7.0 minus 2.1 gives me 4.9 grams. So 7.0 minus 2.1 equals 4.9 grams. So what that means is that I consumed 4.9 grams of C12H22O11. So now I'm going to come back here and I'm gonna finish getting my molar mass, which we talked about yesterday. So again, molar mass is the mass of every single atom in the compound. So if I'm counting every single atom, that means that I've got 12 carbons, 22 hydrogens, 11 oxygens. Carbon's mass on the periodic table is 12.01. Hydrogen's mass on the periodic table is 1.01. And oxygen's mass on the periodic table is 16.00. So, 
when I multiply those by how many atoms I have, 12 times 12.01 is 144.12. 22 times 1.01 .01 is 22.22. .22. And then 11 times 16 is 176.00. So I'm going to add all those up. So I've got 144.12 plus 22.22 plus 176.00. And I get 342.33. And if you remember from yesterday, molar mass, the unit is grams per mole. So I'll just let you guys take a look at that math there. Now, for questions five through seven, at this point, we're going to pause. This is all we know how to do. Today, we're going to be learning about how to calculate the number of moles, how to calculate the number of particles, and other calculations that we can do that are related to that. So we're going to pause here, and when we finish up the math on this, I will post another video of us finishing that. So tune in to the next section on the learning path for the next parts of the lesson for today. Thanks, guys.